I'm going to show you guys this uh, Honeywell filter. This is from, uh, uh, I'll tell you what model this is later, I forget. Um, I just pulled the filter. This has been running on either low or medium for a little over a month, at most two months. And this is how much crap pulled out of the air. This I have in basically the entryway of my house, and uh, it really cuts down on the amount of dust. You know, because you track in dust and stuff. Whenever you open the door, dust comes in. And I have allergies, so I bought a few of these. I have one back where I'm normally at. I want to get another one for my bedroom, but I haven't yet. But got these two running like all the time, and they they make a difference. I tell you, once a month is pretty much got to clean them. This one's been a little bit over a month and it's also been running on medium instead of low. The one in the back I always run on low. Um, that one's not as dirty. Cleaned that one about at the same time but it doesn't get as much traffic back there. This one gets a lot more traffic so it does a hell of a job. I just vacuum this off and sometimes I'll wash the pre-filter too. I have some spares so I'll just throw it in the washer for like three minutes just to rinse it out and wash it a little bit and that seems to work pretty good but these work awesome they're definitely worth it these, say, these are the F filters HEPA filters so this is a larger model I'll look up the model and put it in the video but these are freaking awesome I mean they really do a job especially if you're not great at vacuuming like once a week like certain people in this household aren't um, it really helps with the dust and stuff. And it's just a dusty area here because it's all dirt roads and stuff too. So these these help a lot. And we're out in the country. There's a lot of pollen too. That's a lot of stuff. So in comparison, here it is basically cleaned. You know, it's supposed to be black. <laughs> so... All you do is, to take these out is you just flip your unit on its side or upside down. I basically always do it on its side. And uh, this is just, you know, uh, some thin charcoal um, filled cloth. Just Velcros. And it just goes around. A new one's like, I think, $6. But I just reuse them, just wash them. Uh, we don't need, I don't need anything, for, the charcoal is just in there for scent. You know, the pre-filter blocks the dust. I, I just need it for dust. I don't need it for smell. So we're not creating any bad smells other than the normal ones, so. But anyhow, that's that. Now you just put your, uh, bottom piece on here. And there's a, uh, big, uh, bolt here that tightens it all together. And it self-centers itself, basically, because the bottom piece has, like, a cone on it. So you just tighten this up. Not too tight. It's nice and snug. And have it about three feet away from the walls. Any objects so you get good airflow all the way around it works better. That's high. That's medium. And that's low. My other one's a little bit louder. It's the same model, but I don't know, the fan's a little not as good or something. Alright, turn it on low now. Just wanted to show you one more thing. Um it's got automatic like filter change things and uh, once you've cleaned it it's still lit see what you want it doesn't have a sensor or anything this is just a timer is all so all you have to do is uh, to reset it is uh, hold the reset button here and then uh, it's like 10 seconds or something and then it'll reset and then it'll go off again after, you know, like a month or so. Um, or maybe two. I don't remember how long it takes for these sensors to go off. I probably didn't reset it the last time because it hadn't gone off yet. 
basically I try to check them once a month and and, and, uh, and vacuum them. Same time I do all the filters in the house and uh, and that you know so that's what I do. But this thing works really nice. It, it you could tell the air coming out of this is better than the air going in. I mean it just it I don't know how you explain it, it tastes better. Um, and like I say, all that fucking dust that it picks up is awesome. My electronics don't get as dirty, you know, my TVs and stuff, I don't have to clean the screen nearly as often. I, I used to have to clean my TV screen like once a week, and now I can get by like once a month, or once every few months even. You know, so it, it's a huge improvement in the quality of air and just how much dust it takes out of the air running these units. So, yeah, I recommend them definitely. They're about 140 bucks. Sometimes cheaper on sale. Sometimes a little bit more. Um, I have ordered. I ordered both mine off of Amazon. So, well, yeah, nice units.